Hello everybody, welcome to Pack Rat Route and Scale Model Railroad. I'm Gary Corbin. Today is the 23rd of February, 2020. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a little review on some 3D printed uh, heavy equipment in end scale. Um, I got these pieces from eBay, from uh, eBay seller Superstock TXX, uh, Dennis Back. I uh, ordered the pieces and they arrived in six, seven days or so. Um, they're pretty nice. They're not highly detailed, but uh, they'll work for uh, my mine here. Uh, Dennis Back, he also sells, uh, uh, I think, about 40 more different other pieces of things uh, from service vehicles. Uh, uh, he also does an M1 uh, battle tank, a uh, some other armored personnel carrier as well, a Humvee. Uh, he also does the astronaut guy, uh, a Sasquatch, and a bull moose. Um, you guys should check him out. His prices are really reasonable, and uh, I'm happy with what I got. And I'll be getting a few more pieces from him, um, probably a, a couple more haul trucks and a d11 dozer as well he makes a uh, concrete mixer as ready as well a ready mix uh, truck uh, a low boy truck or a low boy uh, as well as a uh, i think it's a kenworth truck as well um, it's pretty nice stuff it's not highly detailed uh, but it it uh and scale, it's kind of hard to put detail on stuff with this laser printing, I guess. But these things are, they're, they're really impressive. They'll really add some action to the, uh, to the quarry over here. And like I said, I'll probably get, uh, those, tr uh, service trucks are kind of like the, uh, 350, 3500 Ford Chevy, uh, type of truck, uh, maybe a 450, uh, the larger trucks. Uh, one of them has, that's a bucket truck, utility truck. And another one is a uh, uh, like a welding truck, service truck with boxes on the back. And I think he makes an older version of a fuel truck as well. Um, he just makes all kinds of stuff. You know, it's it's uh, it's the little details in some of these scenes that that really make that scene pop. And uh, and scale also, it's you kind of. There's not a lot to choose from. It's getting better. Uh, I know from the past, uh, heavy equipment is kind of hard to come by, but this 3D printing stuff is is uh, really nice for us, especially me doing this quarry. That was one of the reasons why I did this quarry is because of this seller and other pieces that I've seen on uh, uh, Shapeways. Those pieces are a little bit more expensive, but I imagine a little bit more detailed as well. Uh, so it's uh, it's six of one half dozen other. You know, you, you pay for a, a nice, highly detailed locomotive. You know, you'll pay a hundred, hundred and fifty, sometimes two hundred bucks. Uh, that's the sound and everything, of course. But uh, you know, just a regular uh, DCC version. You know, you can get a hundred, hundred and twenty-five bucks wrapped up in something. So uh, I might get one of those pieces from Shapeways and put it up front here, a hull truck. Uh, you know, just, uh, I don't know, eventually probably, uh, we'll see. Uh, well, enjoy this review of uh, 3D printed and scale uh, mining equipment. All right, here's the pieces that I've got from uh, Superstocks TXX. Um, this is a representation of a 777G Gulf uh, mining truck, what I call a haul truck, and a 6015B hydraulic mining shovel, what I call an excavator or a track hoe, a very large track hoe actually. These are the pieces that it comes in. This piece here is actually, the boom is separate, the arm is separate, and the bucket is separate. Um, take that apart real fast there so you can see a little better the bucket's a little thick but I think I can scrape that down a little bit plus once you get it down in the 
in, on display down in the mine. It uh, you probably won't even be able to see it anyway. Um, the boom arm is a little long. This part should probably protrude up a little further. Um, but all in all, you know, then this goes actually down to the bucket, the hydraulic cylinder there. But it's a good 3D print, I think. It's it's going to work out great down in my mind. Um, these are pretty good. Now, if you're a rivet counter kind of guy, you're not really going to like these because it doesn't have panel indentations, uh, nuts and bolts, anything like that. Uh, but uh, it's... Uh, I'm going to end up getting a couple more of these. They, they look really, really nice. Um, like this here, you can see there's really no difference between the, the two where there should be a sprocket on one, the heavy end where the gears are at, and then the idler arm track tensioner. Um, but it's, uh, they're going to work out great. The uh, hull truck here, it's got some nice looking tires on it. Uh, handrails, which are overly thick, but like I said, this is gonna, once you get this painted up, this is gonna look really sweet down in that, in my quarry. Uh, I may end up getting probably two or three more of these trucks, and one or two more of these excavators, and he also makes a, I believe the D11 representation uh, of a large dozer, so I'm gonna get probably two of those also. Now his prices are are really nice too. They're you know these are very reasonable, very reasonable. These were the uh, haul truck I believe was fifteen dollars. Let me look here. Yes, fifteen dollars for the haul truck and thirteen ninety five for the uh, uh, mining shovel. The 6015 Bravo. Okay, here's a few close-up photographs of the uh, pieces. I also uh, threw in the uh, little switcher there and a semi-truck and trailer uh, to use for scale so you guys can get the, uh, the overall size of these models. I primed the pieces with uh, gray primer, spray primer. Uh, they come from the maker uh, ready to paint, but I went ahead and primed them anyway. And then I used some gloss uh, Tuscan Sun. Um, this is a, a little bit lighter shade than the Caterpillar Yellow, but when you're dealing with scale models, uh, it's always better to go just a little bit lighter uh, than the actual color. It's kind of a, you know, it's a scale modeler thing that I learned a long time ago, uh, building military vehicles. Now the only thing that fish eyed was the uh, bed of the hull truck, which is really no biggie. I'm going to be uh, painting that uh, metal color. Uh, I can see on the bucket there, I did uh, just some some pre light gray color, and the final photograph in this series will show the bed of the truck. Uh, starting uh, with the metal color with some light gray. And here they are mocked up down at the bottom of the quarry. Of course they still have weathering to be done on them and and uh, get some little uh, cat decals uh, eventually and a little bit more black detail painting but they're gonna look pretty good down there. I'm gonna get some a few more of these.